Alright, welcome geometry. This is section 17, midpoint and distance in the coordinate plane. Essential question is how do you find the midpoint of a segment? And let's begin. So the midpoint is between two points between two points is the average. And I think this is stuff you might have done before this whole lesson, but we're doing it. Midpoint's the average. So on a number line, if we have point A and point B, we're gonna call the midpoint at point M, it's just the average of these values of A. So average of a and b, which is a plus b over 2. That's how we do average. If we're on a coordinate plane, well, we just have to find the average of the x values and then the average of the y values. And that's it. So that's how to find the midpoint between two points on a line segment. Distance formula. Distance formula is right here. Probably done this before. But the idea is the square root of the sum of the difference between the x's squared and the difference between the y's squared. So if you have two points and you have the coordinates of the points, plug them in. The big thing you have to be sure is if it doesn't really matter which point is x2 and x1 and y2 and y1, but you have to be consistent. So if I call the a, I'm going to call this x1 and y1. You know, If I call a x1, I better call the y value y1 and make sure I place that either at the end, both of them at the end. And this will be the b's will be the x2 and y2. Just be consistent. So that either the first value, the first value is the, the same point every time. So this will be the B coordinate, and this is the A coordinate. You could flip it, and it wouldn't matter if the A came first, or didn't matter. So the distance formula is based off the Pythagorean theorem. Let's try some examples. So look it over, pause the video, in three, two, one. Here we go. Segment AB has endpoints at negative four and nine. What is the midpoint? Well, I'll just average it. So midpoint's in here somewhere. I don't know what this is. Call that m. But we add them up. Negative 4 plus 9 divided by 2. That's going to be positive 5 divided by 2. So 5 halves, which we can just call, oh, 2 and a half. So our midpoint is 2 and a half. Excellent. Next example, pause the video. 3, 2, 1. So the midpoint of segment CD is negative 2, 1. One endpoint is at negative 5, 7. What are the coordinates of the other endpoint? What I'm going to do first here is I'm going to draw a graph. You don't have to. You can just figure it out using the midpoint formulas we talked before. But I like doing a graph. So I'm going to graph the midpoint at negative 2, 1, which is going to be right here. Label that M. And we're going to put C at negative 5, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then up 7. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So right here, and then I gotta find the point D, and that's somewhere down here. Don't know where, but I'm just gonna have to do some math. So I know the midpoint formula. We gotta do the x value and the y, so we're gonna do the x value first. The midpoint for the x, I'm gonna just call this x, is gonna equal whatever the value of, of C, the x value, we're gonna find the average, negative 5 plus We'll just call this, uh, geez, x sub 2 over 2. Because the average between one point that we know and one point that we don't know, d, whatever that is. So, and we know the value of the midpoint is actually not x. I messed that up. It should be negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 5 plus x over 2. Well, let's solve this. Let's actually just erase everything. This looks terrible. Not going to edit, just going to go. Negative 2 equals C's value for x, negative 5 plus x, I'm just calling it x now, over 2. So I've got to solve for x. All right. First thing I want to do is I want to multiply both sides by 2. Because multiply by 2, these 2's are going to cancel, cancel. I don't like the fractions. I want to get rid of those first. So I get negative 4 equals negative 5 plus x. And then the next step is, well, let's just add 5 to both sides. If you add 5, you're going to get x equals 1. So that's the x coordinate. So we got, we're got right here somewhere. Now we've got to figure out the y coordinate. So for the y coordinate of d, we're going to plug in. The midpoint's at 1. So that's going to be 1 equals the c value. So 7 plus, I don't know, y over 2. And we're going to solve for y this time. So first, like I, I don't like fractions. I multiply by 2 on both sides. So then I get 2 and cancel, cancel, equals 7 plus y. 
subtract 7, and I'm going to get, cancel, cancel, y equals negative 5. So y equals negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right here. So let's, let's see if this works out, just for fun, hey? So if I have to do a segment CM, it's like this. And if I copy a segment, it should pretty much line up. If I copy another one, hey, yeah, that worked pretty well. So that looks like it's right. Excellent job. So the value for D is going to be 1, negative 5. That are the coordinates for D. Last one. Pause the video. 2, 1. All right, this is using the distance formula. So what is the distance between these two points? Round to the nearest tenth. So my D equals, well, I'm going to label these first, just, just to help me out. I'm going to call this x1 and y1. This will be x2 and y2. It's always nice to label that in case I forget. So plugging it in, it's y2 minus y1. Is that what it is? x2 minus x1, let's be consistent. So it's going to be x2, which is 4, minus negative 7. All that squared, plus negative 3 minus 5 squared, and the square root of all that. So that comes out to negative 4 minus 7 is going to be 4 plus 7, which is 11 squared, plus negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8 squared. And that's going to come out to 121 plus 64. And those are going to add up to, let's see, 5, 8. So square root of 185. What is that going to be? I don't, I think it's like 13.2 uh, if I remember. Something like that. You'd try to get a calculator. Not going to do that in your head. And that's it.